Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, welcome back to 13, which they just won't leave alone. Okay, so, backstory, in case you don't know what the hell is going on, two odd decades back, there was a first person shooter called 13, came out on the PS2 GameCube generation of consoles, and it was really good. So shit, graphics looked absolutely gorgeous, and it did some really interesting innovative mechanical stuff with its comic book style that meant it was a really effective hybrid sneaky shooter thing. Basically, it was a really good game. And that could have been the end of it, because this is not a game that was lost to history. Alright, you can still buy that version on Steam today, and it works just fine. But that wasn't good enough, no, 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 the bastards just couldn't stop tinkering. And so a year or two back we got 13 Remastered, and it was a disaster, worse than the original in every way. Buggy, broken as anything, barely holding together, ugly as flip, AI was catastrophically dumb, terrible. And you think maybe at that point someone would be smart enough to say, you know what, let's just give up on this endeavour. There's already the original 13, we don't need to remaster it. But no, we're back again because they decided to remake the remaster. Alright, thank god the original team wasn't allowed to do it, but instead, this has now been handed over to French developers uh, Tower 5. And you want to know the really fun thing about Tower 5? They don't mention this project on their website. Alright, which does concern me a bit. But it can't be as bad as what came out previously, right? Oh, the catastrophically lazy intro is still present and correct because, uh, yes, um, they couldn't be bothered to remake the introduction in the new visual style, so instead they just played the original game's introduction on a small screen while another character watched it, and that's... Okay, I'm deeply worried this seems to have not fixed various major problems from the previous release. Okay, so this is, um, this is weird. So this here, this looks more so shaded. That's good. However, the cutscene that just played a minute ago, just before this scene started, looked like this. So what they appear to have done is, yes, like, put some sort of visual filter over the gameplay to make it look a bit more so shaded but all the cutscenes still seem to be in the original horrible plastic Fortnite style, and now as a result of that, the story is actually in a different visual style to the rest of the game, and... Oh god, they can't have made this worse, right? How have you made this worse? Oh, here's a fun touch, by the way, because you literally don't need to move from the starting point of the game to notice the whole thing breaking, which is, you can see the footsteps as she was running up to me. This is precisely where I started. Then these two footsteps here, where she bent down to help me get up, and then closer together footsteps, walking away as a result of her walking over there. Because here she was running, here she was walking. That's lovely. Whose footprints are these, game? Because she didn't go that far behind me. She ran up to me, helped me up and walked off. So the only other person is me. Which makes me think they're supposed to be my footprints. Me walking up the beach to get to where I am now. Which means somebody put them on backwards. Okay, this is... This is fine. Okay, bonus points. We got into the flashback. And uh, the walls are actually solid walls uh, I can't walk through. And the controls appear to be working. So at the bare minimum, we are one step up from the original remaster. Like, that is pretty much the lowest bar we can set. But we have managed to surpass it. So, uh, well done, I guess. Okay, time for some cocking murder by the looks of it. Just held myself to a gun. No, okay. How are we going to be doing with... Uh, the enemies round here, because the enemies uh, were not good in the original, and... Buddy, 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 just, just hold still for a second, I need to check your death animation. Okay, that's, that's better than the original, the frame rate didn't immediately crap out, and... Okay, in general, it seems to be running a, a lot smoother. Okay, they may have uh, ironed out some little technical bits and pieces, uh, at the absolute bare minimum, some of this stuff is... Uh, 
a little bit better. I will say though, the glass effect is really, really bloody weird. So yeah, if you're looking out from a window, you've got this very peculiar effect right here. So take that out. Okay, yes, the glass is very weirdly frosted. I mean, I suppose they must have been given the brief. Hey, make game look a bit more, you know, cell shaded and whatnot. And uh, I suppose they have, but I think they've done it by, yes, just applying visual filters to the whole thing. Excuse me, I see you over there. Okay, the test of any shooter. Get the shotgun, take it and find someone who is currently not full of bullets. Fill them full of bullets and then, there we go, we'll be able to verify how good game is. Oh, I see. Hiding far away from my bloody shotgun, are you? But... Okay. It is running much... Oh, you're not out of shotgun range, though. Right, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Okay, now that feels better. Because he doesn't mysteriously drop to five frames a second when I shoot him. And, oh yeah, that's why this game was lovely. That sort of a beautiful cutaway comic book panel when enemies were shot in the head, dropping off things, etc, etc, etc. Okay, you know what? Screw it. It's time to find out how much I am just, you know, suffering from nostalgia and false memory syndrome. Let's get over to the original. This is the very original. You can buy this on... It actually looks better. It looks... So much better. This is the original 13. You know how much I just bought this for? £1.24. You know how much they're charging for the new version? Over £20. And the glass genuinely looks better. And also, just in general, just how have they made the glass so much worse? How? How have you done this? How have you made a game that looks worse than one from two decades ago twice? How have you done that? Right, get down to some enemies. Lovely over here. Spectacular. Okay, that had like no ammo. That was a mistake. But I do have uh, the throwing knife, which is just hilarious. Because you get the... That was right in your penis. I'm really sorry. Down you go, buddy. Grab all of that. Be flipping beautiful. And... Uh... Okay, hang on. Did they... Did they add an extra guy in down here? Because, okay, that's odd that there was a large guy down here with a shotgun. Okay, fine. So when you remade this game, you just decided to arbitrarily change bits of it. Also, seriously, where were the throwing knives? Because, like, throwing knives are a big bit of this game. Because when you headshot someone, then you get that really cool chunk, chunk, chunk animation. And it's lovely. And it's just, you know, really, really, really bloody nice. So... Oh, bloody hell. This is... This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing for the new game. That you can just go back to the original right now and just have this much of a better time than I'm having with the second attempt at remastering this game. It looks better. This looks better than the remaster of the remaster. Yes, the original is just swimming in these knives because the knives are really fun and lead to, you know, rewarding you for getting a headshot, which is just lovely and just the colour scheme works so much better. Oh, highlighting enemies so that you can see them. There's another headshot right there. Absolutely beautiful. There appears to just be, yeah, a handful less enemies floating around. I see you over there. Obviously, knives won't work at extreme range, but... What well, my tears are... Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice over there. So, okay, bloody hell. They, they've they actually failed to... There we go. Sorry. Just, just let me reload for a second. Thank you. Nice. Very good. Okay. So, they've failed. They've completely 100% failed. Like, they've made a game that is technically less broken than their first attempt at remastering it. But... Let's just say that's not really that much of an achievement. Also, super cute thing I'd never even known about 13 before, which is if you just hang around in the level, the helicopter keeps coming back and dropping off more reinforcements. I never knew that, but that's really, really damn cool. Because obviously, yes, the helicopter is uh, hunting you down and trying to kill you. So if you just wait long enough, it keeps coming back and... 
This is so embarrassing for everybody involved in this remaster. Just from start to finish. Like, both of them, I mean. Also, just look at the start screen of the original. Like, how much better that is where the panels come to life with the colours and the comic book written noises as you hover over them. That is so, so much nicer than the remake. Oh, and I'd forgotten something as well, which is the remake, despite being remade twice, still has less features in it than the original. Because if we just go over to multiplayer in the original, you can take part in a bot challenge, where I can add up to three other bots into the game, and then take them on in a deathmatch, or team deathmatch, or capture the flag, or the hunt, or sabotage, or power up. So six different game types, and uh, the number of maps available is, uh, yes, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we've got a big old pile of maps, and capture the flag has its own distinct maps as well. 20 or so maps there, so a lot of content. I played a lot of this bot challenge when I had this original game on the GameCube. So uh, let's go back over to the remake of the remaster. Oh, it's just awful by comparison. It's so flat and pointless and... Uh, oh my goodness. If you'd just recreated the original screen, it would have been so much nicer and more dynamic. But okay, just, just stay focused. Try not to panic. Let's just go into local multiplayer. And guess what we got? We got deathmatch and we got team deathmatch. So we've lost capture the flag. We've lost three other bloody modes. Oh, and guess what? There's no bots. The bots are not in the game. There also appear to now be only three maps down from like 20. But hang on. Now I've been reminded how good the opening of the original 13 is. Seriously, game, whose footsteps are these supposed to be? Why do they go behind me? Also, I just noticed in the flashback section, yes, the game's just in black and white. Whereas in the original, the flashback's got this kind of a soft filter over it to indicate, very literally, this is a blurry memory. But no, obviously not. Adding basic visual effects to recreate the look of the game you're remastering and then remaking the remaster of. No, obviously that's not worth doing. Oh, and in this version, by the way, it just stays black and white. In the original, when you start getting shot, it goes red to indicate, hey, you're badly injured. It's so cocking lazy. In the opening, cocking, cutscene and tutorial section, and you just couldn't be bothered. Okay, no, in the remake, they've taken away the, you know, throwing knives. Supposed to be throwing knives right here, we just saw them. Okay, they, they decided against that. They decided to take one of the most fun, distinctive weapons in the game out. And look at this glass, it's, it's so bad. It's so, so bad. The original just, look at this mess. Okay, they've... I mean, I think they've made the characters look slightly better, and they fixed the frame rate issues. But this just... I think the environment now looks the worst out of three. They've had two attempts to get this right, and they've managed to move backwards from a disaster as major as 13 remastered. And there's just... There's no throwing knives. They've just... They've taken the throwing knives out. Also, hang about. There was... The water. Just just look at the water. In the original, there's a beautiful little splash effect, like a spray, where as you pass by the water, little bits of it fly up. But they've... They couldn't be bothered to do that. That visual effect is... Definitely gone. Also, in the original, at the start of the game, the guy at the front door of the first aid post, he fires at breaking all the windows to show the windows destructible. But in the remake, they just didn't bother. Though, to be honest, if I'd made a game where the windows looked as bad as the ones in this game, I probably wouldn't want to draw attention to them either. They've also removed the action button to break glass. You used to be able to just walk up to any glass whatsoever, and use the action button to break it. Okay, the bare minimum. Just the fire... The fire extinguisher exploded. 
and this glass was not broken by an explosion. By an item that exploded next to it. Didn't work. Oh, do you remember in the original how, yes, right into this level, the guy rolled out from cover because he was supposed to be ambushing you? Do you see how this guy just took several steps out, then rolled? As if someone was trying to recreate the look of the original without the slightest thought in their head about why the original was as it was. Like they have no concept whatsoever as to what made this a good game. And I'm guessing the helicopter ain't coming back either. Alright, so I'm just going to hang around and we're going to see if the helicopter comes back and drops off some reinforcements. I've been walking up and down for a few minutes just trying different locations to see if maybe there were different uh, spawn or trigger points. The helicopter is not coming back. So in the original, there was a funny strike that I didn't find for 20 years where the helicopter would keep bringing reinforcements because that made sense. Obviously, they're trying to kill you. If you kill their men, they might bring some more to try and finish the job. But, um, yeah, the people who were remaking the game just either didn't know or they just decided it wasn't worth doing. So, oh, bloody hell. What am I even looking at here? Okay, fine. You have fixed the absolute worst of the bugginess and brokenness. But I think possibly this new attempt to, like use visual filters to fake cell shading might actually be uglier than the first remaster which was already uglier than the original because oh bloody hell the bad decisions just pile up here oh and as the perfect cherry on top um this game has or rather was supposed to have a dynamic music so you know when combat kicks off the music gets all jazzy and when all the enemies are dead the music calms down again and the, um, the aggressive music has just kicked off at random. I have been through the entire opening level to make sure I didn't miss anybody. I haven't. There are no enemies present in the level. But, um, the game is now just playing the you're currently fighting music. And it sounds like it's just going to, um, keep happening forever. So, all right. I think me and this game understand each other, which is if these people can't be bothered to make a competently well put together game, I don't see why I should be bothered to play it. I'm done. I'm flipping done with 13 remastered the remake. All right. And I can't even say they've done better than 13 remastered. Like the bar could not have been set lower. And even then, you've not managed to get higher than it. You fix some of the most obvious horrible bugs and issues, but somehow, in an attempt to hack together a vague approximation of a very distinctive visual style, you managed to create a game uglier than one that came out 20 years ago, and you can still buy for a 20th of the price of this game. Do not buy this. Just go and buy the original. It's so much better, and I don't know why they've gone out of their way to take stuff out of it that made the original so bloody good. I am done with this awful, awful game bloody conking hell. Right, you still don't deserve the outro. After two attempts, bye.